Gresham News, Delaware Valley's leading news program with meteorologist Melissa McGee, Jeff Skaversky, Sarah Blomquist, and Walter Perez. Sunday night, and we are preparing for a scorcher. In fact, we're looking at the possibility of record-breaking heat this week. Two dogs are recovering after they were caught in the middle of a deadly shooting in Point Breeze. And we're hearing from the fiancé of a woman who died shielding her kids from a car barreling toward them. But the big story on Action News is a fire in East Norton Township, Montgomery County, that left nearly 100 people displaced. The fire broke out this afternoon in an apartment complex on the 2600 block of DeKalb Pike. That's where we find Action News reporter Annie McCormick with the very latest. Annie. And Sarah, residents here say that the fire started in a third floor after a towel pot alarms and multiple fire companies responded. Residents of this Montgomery County apartment complex are out of their homes tonight. This building condemned. The fire broke out just after 1.30 this afternoon in the 2600 block of DeKalb Pike inside one of the buildings within the DeKalb apartment complex. I did see smoke coming out of that building, but we weren't sure because there was also smoke coming out over here. We saw some smoke in the third floor, and then we, we evacuated everything. We just took, took our chair and we just came out. The fire caused... Chen opted to head to the Red Cross shelter set up at Norristown High School with his parents. Red Cross Eastern Pennsylvania Executive Director Adrian Greaves says initially they were told 100 people were displaced. Now they're working to reach out to all residents. At this point, we're just assessing it, you know, as we go through the evening here and um, we'll talk to emergency management. We'll see how many they've been able to reach out to. And we just found out a short time ago that that shelter at Norristown High School has been closed because all of those 100 residents that were displaced have found a place to stay. However, if you do need assistance from the Red Cross, you should call 800-422-7677. For now, reporting live in East Norton, Andy McCormick for Action News at 10 on PHL 17. Walter and Sarah, back to you. Annie, thank you. An Action News producer sent in this video of a fire on the 1900 block of Latona Street in Philadelphia's Point Breeze neighborhood. The flames broke out around 6.30 tonight. Firefighters arrived to find flames shooting out of the roof. It took the fire department less than 30 minutes to get it under control. No one was injured. Well, time for a check of the Yankee Weather forecast. We're just getting warmed up. No pun intended. We want to crank up the AC and the fans tomorrow. In fact, we're looking at the possibility of record heat and humidity. Meteorologist Melissa McGee is here now with our first check of the Yankee Weather forecast. Melissa. Yeah, Walter, it was a hot one today and the heat sticks around for the start of the work week as well. The high today in Philadelphia, 94 degrees, so 12 degrees above average. And we have the summer-like weather that invades for the start of Monday. Right now, still very warm with the southwesterly wind. 81 in the city, 80 in Trenton, 78 in Allentown, the Lehigh Valley at the coast in Cape May, 73 up in Beach Haven, also in the lower 70s, Dover coming in at 80. Here is Satellite 6 along with Action Radar. We've got a mostly clear sky, so quiet conditions from New England all the way down across the mid-Atlantic region. We have this Bermuda high that essentially has set up shop offshore, so we're tapping in those southwesterly winds, and it is very warm, and it stays above average tomorrow. So for Monday, 8 o'clock in the morning, it's a very warm start. Our typical daytime high is 82. We're already in at 78 tomorrow morning at 8. 11 a.m. and at 88 degrees, 92 at 2 o'clock. We'll stay in the lower 90s at 5 p.m., 8 p.m. tomorrow night, a temperature in the upper 60s. So we are within record heat come tomorrow. Monday, we're calling for a high of 95. That could tie the record of 95, set so back in 2015. And on Tuesday, the core of that hot air really moves in. High temperature, we're calling for 90. That could break the record of 95 set back in 1956. It is not just the heat, it is also the building humidity over the next couple of days. Coming up, going to take a closer look at the forecast, talk about some heat tips you really need to know about as we go throughout this week. Details coming up with a full and exclusive Accurate the Forecast, Walter. All right, thank you, Melissa. Now to an update on a story that broke last night at 10 o'clock. Charges have just been filed in a deadly accident in the Port Richmond section of Philadelphia. Police say 29-year-old Ryan McHugh was under the influence when he ran down 28 year old Rosa Lydia Rojas. She died saving her children from that out of control vehicle. This horrible tragedy occurred near Aramango Avenue and Tioga Street. You'll hear from the victim's father and fiance coming up at 1030.
Investigators are trying to find the person who pumped 10 bullets into a 66-year-old man today in North Philadelphia. It happened on Broad Street near Somerset right around noon. The victim was taken to Temple Hospital, where he was pronounced dead a short time later. If you know anything about this case, please call police. Well, friends of a missing woman gathered in Chesterbrook, Chester County this evening. They wore, shir they wore shirts reading, Finding Anna. Anna Machiska of Malvern was reported missing back on April 10th. Her family hasn't heard from her since March 30th. They say all communication from then until she was reported missing went through her husband, who would only tell them that Anna wasn't feeling well. Tomorrow, the defense will present its case in Bill Cosby's sexual assault trial. Cosby's lawyers have not said if he will take the stand. If he does testify and denies drugging and molesting Andrea Constand or anyone else, the judge may allow more people to testify as rebuttal witnesses. Prosecus prosecutors wanted 13 other accusers to testify, but the judge allowed just one, an assistant to Cosby's agent at the William Morris Agency. The prosecution rested its case Friday, just five days after the trial began. If convicted, Cosby, who is 79 years old, could face decades in prison. More than a dozen members of a now banned Penn State fraternity accused in the death of a pledge will face a judge tomorrow. The hearing will decide if there is enough evidence for their cases to go to trial. Video recorded inside the Beta Theta Pi house the night 19-year-old Tim Piazza died will be played in court. We expect that videotape to be uh, uh, horrible, that it will be the kind of evidence which will make a significant impact. Piazza died after a pledge party allegedly turned into an alcohol-fueled hazing ritual. He fell headfirst down the stairs in February. The fraternity members are accused of waiting nearly 12 hours before calling for help. Action News will be in the courtroom in Center County tomorrow for those hearings. Stay with 6ABC and 6ABC.com for the very latest. Two dogs are recovering tonight after they were caught in a crossfire of a shooting in Point Breeze. They were on a walk with their owner on Friday morning when a man repossessing a minivan opened fire. Action News reporter Chris Dioletto has more on the frightening scene. Ace and Callie are doing their best to get around. John Fisher was walking the dogs Friday morning when he found himself near the epicenter of gunfire. Of the 20 shell casings scattered on the sidewalk, two bullets pierced Ace, an 11-month-old St. Bernard poodle mix, ducking for cover with his owner. I started running a little bit, then I kind of dove like next to some stairs behind a stoop. I just had him, and as soon as the shooting stopped, I got up and just sprinted home. When I got in the house and I saw blood everywhere, they were real freaked out. Bandages cover a front and rear leg. Callie, come here. Callie wears a boot for her broken foot and riddled paw. So far, their medical expenses total $8,000, but this family says this could have ended worse. We're just thankful that everyone's all right, you know. Uh, uh, you know, they're, they're going to be relatively fine. I'm fine, and, um, you know, thank the Lord. Recovery for both dogs will take six to eight weeks at the earliest, and it's possible that Ace will have to have a second surgery. In Point Breeze, Chris Gialetto for Action News at 10 on PHL 17. One of SEPTA's busiest train routes is suspended tonight because of downed wires. The Trenton line will not be running until further notice while crews try and repair the problem. The wires are down near the Holmesburg station. There's no word yet how those wires came down or when trains to and from Trenton will be running again. Much more to come on Action News tonight in Philadelphia and across the country. People hit the streets marching for equality. Their big concerns when it comes to the White House. And Attorney General Jeff, Ses Jeff Sessions is headed to the hot seat. He's preparing to testify in front of a Senate panel about the Russian investigation. Also, a natural gas explosion sends debris flying in this neighborhood. Two homes are leveled and two others damaged. We'll take you to central New Jersey. Tonight's news is brought to you by Horizon Services for all your air conditioning, heating, and plumbing needs. Horizon Services said they would be here to fix my air conditioner by 10, and they were actually here at 10. Horizon has an on-timer free guarantee for AC repairs. I've used them before and they've always been on time, so I never got it free. I had to leave by 6 to get to my daughter's game. Horizon was in and out with time to spare. We know you're busy. You have things to do. That's why at Horizon Services, we promise to be there on time and your service is free. It's all about respect. Horizon Services, on time for your service is free. <sighs> Where are mom and dad? 
Save money on motorcycle insurance with Geico going up the country. I love mom and dad. I'm taking a nap. Dude, you just woke up. Geico Motorcycle. Great rates for great rides. It's easy to see why Nissan is America's fastest growing auto brand. Introducing the new Midnight Edition with aggressive blacked out alloy wheels, spoilers, outside mirrors, and more. Take on the mainstream in Nissan's Midnight Edition. Six models, four colors. Get to America's best sales event and get a low $179 per month lease on the 2017 Rogue or get a $109 per month lease on Sentra. Today, we spend a whole lot of time like this. So at Citizens Bank, we've created banking tools that fit how you're living today. From advanced ATMs, to online banking, to our award-winning mobile app. And if you prefer face-to-face, -face, we had that too. Ask me, Terry Goggins, how our balance of technology and people can help you. PHL 17. It's the shows that me and my whole family love. I really like the show Big Bang Theory. Bazinga. My favorite show on PHL 17 is Modern Family. I like to watch Two and a Half Men. This is beautiful. Action News at 10 on PHL 17. There is reason for optimism. I love waking up to the PHL 17 morning news. Thanks for waking up with us. Philadelphia is PHL 17. Philadelphia is PHL 17. Big week ahead in Washington as the Attorney General gets ready to testify on Capitol Hill. Meanwhile, President Trump is once again taking to Twitter and taking aim at former FBI Director James Comey. ABC's Mary Bruce is with the President at his New Jersey Golf Resort. That it was President Trump and his fired FBI Director now locked in a he said, he said. Those were lies. Plain and simple. Some of the things that he said just weren't true. After James Comey's stunning testimony, the president says he's ready to give his side of the story. Would you be willing to speak under oath to uh, give your version of 100 percent? Trump striking back at Comey on Twitter, saying, I believe that James Comey leaks will be far more prevalent than anyone ever thought possible. Totally illegal, very cowardly. You're your own worst enemy here, Mr. President. Knock it off. Members of the president's own party warning him to back off. You may be the first president in history to go down because you can't stop inappropriately talking about an investigation that if you just were quiet would clear you. And when it comes down to who's telling the truth and who's not, I think most people would side reasonably with James Comey. Preet Bahara, the former U.S. attorney for New York, can relate. He was also fired by Trump back in March and says he also had some awkward encounters with the president, including repeated phone calls from Trump starting even before he took office. It was a little bit uncomfortable, but he was not the president. He was only the president-elect. But that changed when Trump called again in March, this time as president. It, we deliberated over it, thought it was inappropriate to return the call, and 22 hours later I was asked to resign. This week, the Attorney General, Jeff Sessions, will be in the hot seat, set to testify in front of the same panel as Comey. Sessions already recused himself from the Russia investigation. I should not be involved in investigating a campaign I had a role in. But Comey hinted there were other reasons. We also were aware of facts that I can't discuss in an open setting. Session says it is important that I have an opportunity to address these matters. Before Mary Bruce, ABC News, Bedminster, New Jersey. Today, New York Senator Charles Schumer invited President Trump to testify before the Senate, acknowledging he would have to work it out with Majority Leader Mitch McConnell and Special Counsel Robert Mueller. Well, people from across the country gathered in Washington, D.C. for the Equality March for Unity and Pride. A sizable crowd marched through the streets of Washington with a message for the White House. Some LGBT activists say they're concerned that President Trump is poised to erase the Supreme Court's landmark ruling legalizing same-sex marriages to years ago. The Equality March comes just one day before the one-year anniversary of that deadly shooting at a gay nightclub in Florida.
Meanwhile, there were rallies in dozens of other cities, including Philadelphia. They celebrated their progress, but also expressed their concern about recent developments that they believe threatened those gains. At Payne Plaza, rally leaders blasted the Trump administration for rolling back policies, allowing transgender students in public schools to use bathrooms that correspond with their gender identity. One man was critically injured and 1,900 residents were left without power after an apparent gas explosion overnight in North New Jersey. The home in Piscataway blew up just after 4 this morning, sending debris a block away. A man living there received second-degree burns but is expected to survive. Electricity was restored to the area about midday. Officials suspect natural gas caused an early morning explosion in Illinois that destroyed two homes and damaged more than two dozen others. Miraculously, no one was killed. Four people were rescued from the second floor of a damaged house. Two of those went to the hospital with minor injuries. Neighbors say the owners of the home that exploded were on vacation. All right, time for a check of the Anki Weather Forecast with meteorologist Melissa McGee. Melissa. Yeah, Walter, Sarah, it's going to be a hot one over the next couple of days. Today's highs easily in the 90s in most locations. Philadelphia, we maxed out at 94, one degree shy of the record today. More than likely going to tie a record tomorrow in the city. Atlantic City, your high temperature 93. 92 today for Trenton and Reading. Allentown had a high today of 91. North and West, it's still pretty warm. 78 in Allentown, 80 for Reading and Lancaster. The lower 80s in Philadelphia, 71 degrees in Cape May, 73 in Beach Haven, 77 degrees in Atlantic City. The dew point numbers, it's an indication of how much moisture is in the air. So anytime you have dew point numbers in the 60s or the upper 60s, you can notice an increase in the humidity. And that's going to be the case even as we get into Monday. Here's Satellite 6 alarm with action radar. It's clear, it's dry, and it's quiet across the Ohio Valley and across our region as well. We've got some showers and storms down across the southeast and an area of severe weather moving across the upper Great Lakes. That stays away from our region for now until we get into Tuesday night into Wednesday. And once that occurs, the heat will start to ease. But over the next 12 hours, mostly clear, very mild tonight. We'll drop down to 65 in the suburbs and 72 degrees in Philadelphia for the overnight low. But that heat will be built early this week. We've got the jet stream lifting off to the north, so high pressure moving to the south. It will be hazy, hot, and humid with temperatures in the 90s tomorrow, and for that matter, into Tuesday as well. So it's hot and noticeably more humid tomorrow. Near records, especially in Philadelphia, we're calling for a high temperature of 95. If we hit that, we would tie the record to back in 2015. 91 in Lancaster tomorrow, 93 in Allentown, 83 in Cape May, 83 at the boardwalk, and 91 degrees down in Dover. Something to keep in mind and you really need to know the signs of heat illness because we're dealing with extreme heat fairly quickly. It's coming on quickly across our region. So heat exhaustion is when you have pale skin, you're sweaty, you have nausea that sets in, dizzy, you need to move to the air conditioning and drink lots of water, keep yourself hydrated. Heat stroke, however, is different. That's when you cannot sweat and you cannot regulate your body temperature. That's when you really have an emergency situation on your hands. So know the difference because we will We'll be dealing with the extreme heat tomorrow and even into Tuesday. Coming up, going to take a close look at the forecast and let you know when that relief is on the way as summer comes early this week. Details with the Accurate the Forecast, Walter. All right. Thank you, Melissa. Well, someone is holding on to the winning Powerball ticket worth 448 million bucks. The bad news is it's probably not you. All we know is that the ticket was purchased at a liquor store in Sun City, California. By the way, the owners of that shop will be receiving a million dollar bonus for selling that winning ticket. Last night's jackpot was the seventh largest in Powerball history. By the way, the odds of winning were one in 292 million. Always next time. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Still to come tonight on Action News, the Phillies wrap up their series against the Cardinals, and yet again, it doesn't end the way we would have wanted. And you'll meet a teenager who showed off his dance moves just days after receiving a new heart. Tonight's news is brought to you in part by Bob's Discount Furniture. Some things can be hard to reach, but health coverage for your kids is well within reach. With CHIP, your child can have checkups, prescriptions, dental, eye care, and more covered for free or low cost, so that no matter what they're reaching for, CHIP is there for them. CHIP covers uninsured kids up to age 19 who are not eligible for medical assistance. There's no waiting period to apply, so don't wait. Apply today. Paid for with Pennsylvania taxpayer dollars. People are talking about the new Buick. 
with four fresh new models to choose from. And what are they saying? Your new Buick is so cute. Love the new Buick. Does it do it? Sweet Buick. Experience the new, new Buick. Current lessees, switch to Buick and get this low mileage lease on this 2017 Buick Encore for around $149 per month for 24 months. It smells great here. It's the shortbread cookie coating on my sweet and crunchy tenders. Can I get the one with the extra cookie crunch on it? To the left. No, the right, the crunchy one. They're all crunchy. Just to the left of the one to the right. Yeah, that one. Did you eat all of my samples? Mom? Yes, you did. I did not. You're eating them right now. Am I? Try my new sweet and crunchy tenders, sauce, side, and biscuit for just five bucks. Search for a piece of the past and find that history is still being written. Savor fresh, local flavors. Or sample a few artfully crafted beverages. Take some time to unwind or lose yourself in adventure. Lancaster County. It's everything you expect and everything you didn't. Discover it for yourself at discoverlancaster.com. Restlessness, extreme anxiety, pacing, a constant urge to move. If someone you know is suffering from schizophrenia, they may also be struggling with akathisia, a common side effect of some schizophrenia medications. Learn more at myakathisia.com. The Art Museum steps became Soccer Central today. Street Soccer USA wrapped up its National Cup with a rally for sports in the community. Two-time Olympic gold medalist and world champion goaltender Hope Solo took in the action. 67 youth teams from low-income neighborhoods took part in this tournament. Time now for a check on sports. Let's head on over to Jeff Skaversky live in the Action News Sports Center. Hey, Jeff. Hey, guys. If winning is not hard enough for the Phillies right now, now this. One of their best players has hit the disabled list, Cesar Hernandez is placed on the 10-day DL with an oblique strain. Finale against the Cardinals today in St. Louis. Philly strike first. Here in the second inning, Aduba Herrera continues his red-hot tear against the Redbirds. Three hits today. He has the most doubles in baseball. It's 2 nothing. Phils. It vanishes in the fifth. Fastball right down the middle. Oh, no. Aaron Nola gives up the three-run homer to Dexter Fowler. Phillies down one. Nola done for the day after five. Pick it up. Phils down two in the ninth. Showing some fight. Howie Kendrick, his second hit. RBI single, Phillies within one. They can take the lead in the ninth. It is too good to be true, though. Next batter, shot to take the lead. Tommy Joseph flies out, Phillies lose. 6-5, they are swept in St. Louis. They have dropped five in a row. Facing elimination in game six tonight of the Stanley Cup final, Peter Laviolette's Nashville Predators are tied up. It is scoreless right now with Sidney Crosby and the Pittsburgh Penguins. Eagle star Fletcher Cox driving the pace car in the Pocono 400 today. Lap 95, stage two, two drivers lose their brakes. Jimmy Johnson, 200 miles per hour into the wall. Ouch. Jamie McMurray loses his brakes too. His car catches fire. The race is stopped for 23 minutes. On a restart with 12 laps to go, Ryan Blaney passes Kyle Busch for the lead. And final turn, Blaney holds off. Kevin Harvick by 0.139 seconds for his first career win. More sports coming up in 30. More news after this. When I learned that I had breast cancer, I had to have the best team on my side. That was MD Anderson Cooper, Dr. Brill in surgery, and Dr. Grana in oncology. Clinical trials saved my life. So I'm giving back to the next generation of women in a new clinical trial. And to be able to say thank you. Thank you for saving my life. Thank you, MD Anderson Cooper. Now I have a second chance at life. We never had a mattress, so... Worth talking about? It's true. We never had a mattress worth talking about until now. Another reason to stay in bed longer. Sounds good to me. Raymore and
Flanagan has the guaranteed lowest prices on the largest selection of mattresses in the Northeast. Right now, you can save up to $400 on Beautyrest Black mattress sets. Lifestyle bases on sale for $599. Come on, you owe it to yourself. Oh, yeah. Welcome to Raymore and Flanagan. My air conditioner conked out on me. I don't know who to call. Who's your guy? My guy's Oliver. Well, actually, it's a team named Oliver. They're reliable, and they give you options. When I have air conditioning issues, that's who I call. They've been in business for 45 years, so it's got to mean something. I'm David Oliver. My father started Oliver Heating and Cooling in 1971. You have my word. You'll receive reliable service you can trust. Next time you need service, let Oliver be your guy. For air conditioning, visit OliverHeatCool.com to schedule an appointment today. Maestros lead with confidence, exactness, inspiration. At GMC, we're in tune with that degree of precision. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the GMC Acadia. The next generation SUV has arrived. Current lessees switch to GMC and get this low mileage lease on this Acadia SLE1 for around $249 per month. GMC, we are professional grade. Hope you don't mind the weather. Though, now you really get to feel how the Honda CRV drives in the rain. Mind? This is my favorite type of weather. You'll enjoy it even more in the CRV with its great styling and smooth handling. So, should we head back? It's really starting to come down. Okay, but let's take the long way. Handle any season confidently in the new CRV from Honda. This teenage patient broke out of the hospital and into dance after he received a new heart at a hospital in Baltimore. 15-year-old Amari Hall was born with a congenital heart defect. Just days after receiving a heart transplant, he decided to start dancing in his hospital bed. Now he's back on his feet, as you can see, and he says now he's ready to dance with the ladies. How about that Villanova t-shirt? Very cool. Uh -huh. All right. Much for the common action news tonight. Loved ones are mourning the death of a mother and soon-to-be bride who was run down right in front of her children. And First Lady Melania Trump makes a big move. Those stories and more when Action News continues.